Now at five, a rare request from the mayor of San Francisco. She's now asking that her brother be released from prison. London Breed has written a letter to Governor Brown. Breed's brother got 44 years for manslaughter after an incident back in June of 2000. Napoleon Brown pushed a woman out of a getaway car on the Golden Gate Bridge following an armed robbery. 25-year-old Lentese White was struck by an oncoming drunk driver and died of her injuries. KPIX 5's Phil Mateer got a sit-down interview with the mayor about whether her plea to the governor crossed the line. Phil? That's right, Kim. Not only does Mayor London Breed say it didn't cross the line, she said there's a bigger issue at stake here as well. However, let's be honest. This has to do with family. This has to do with crime. This is a story. Let's take a look. I don't shy away from doing what I feel is the right thing to do. San Francisco Mayor yeah, London Breed is not shy about her request to outgoing Governor Jerry Brown to commute the sentence of her brother, Napoleon Brown. Shown here on KPIX 5 video some 20 years ago during his arrest after being caught throwing a woman out of a car on the Golden Gate Bridge while being chased from a robbery by police. To be clear, I'm not making any excuses um, for things that he's done. Um, but I also feel that there um, is, a, is a problem with our criminal justice system. I feel that sadly it has had a um, disproportionate impact, especially on African American men, and I lived it. Have you written letters for other people as well? I, I have written letters for others, yes. How many do you think you've written? Um, off the top of my head, you know, probably less than 10. Mayor of the city and county of San Francisco. But this time, Breed is the mayor of San Francisco. The letter isn't on city stationery, but it's on your personal stationery, but it's pretty clear at the top. This is Mayor London Breed talking here. Yes. Well, I didn't want to hide the fact that I'm mayor um, of San Francisco, and, you know, that's what I am. What do you say to the family? Well, I've had conversations with them, and they're private conversations that I unfortunately am not comfortable with sharing. Have you seen your brother? Do you visit him? No. Why not? Um, it's, it's hard. It's kind of painful with his drug problem and other issues, his need for treatment, his need for help, his need for rehabilitation. Is he still on drugs? Um, as far as I know, unfortunately, yes. Now, we reached out to the victim's family for comment. They have not called back. Now, coming up at 6, we're going to take a look with a former prosecutor at where this goes from here. How unusual is this legally? And really, what are the chances of Napoleon Brown actually getting out of jail? In San Francisco, Phil Mateer, KPIX 5. Back to you guys. All right, Phil. We'll be looking forward to that. Thank you.